culture brings people together. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to be able to, to do what you're doing today. Especially true when a community feels its school is at stake. Well, we do teach Lakota and we're actually sitting in the Lakota classroom right now. Dr. Terry Bissonette is the founder of the American Indian Academy of Denver. She believes the school has allowed kids to immerse themselves in their native roots. It, it just allows them to be kids and I think that that's, that's a gift that many of our kids don't have. Bissonette and those here tonight are advocating for the future of their school. You have the opportunity and the responsibility. This week, supporters of the school went to the DPS Board of Education to see that the school does not close. But DPS Superintendent Dr. Alex Marrero was quick to point out that no such vote or debate on that was happening. The advocacy is always welcome, but quite frankly, it's premature because no one is deliberating on closure. And a DPS spokesperson says that the academy is not on the board's agenda for any upcoming meetings, but it does have some documented issues. Memo sent to American Indian Academy of Denver, obtained by Nine News, laid out the list of issues that the school is facing, including under-enrollment, high turnover of special ed staff, and that the school is on the verge of running out of money to pay staff. Earlier this month, the district gave the school three options. The school surrenders its charter, the DPS board votes to revoke the charter, or the board renews the contract if concerns are addressed. Invisible. That term sticks in my mind. Bissonette acknowledges the challenges that they face, but is hopeful. We have a very active and dedicated group of parents and students that um, are going to ensure that this school continues in one way or another. So the district first sent a formal notice last year over the school's finances in August of 2021, which said they were concerned that the charter school's primary bank account was overdrawn. The district says the academy could pursue other options like consolidating with another charter or a district school, but DPS also notes so in one of the memos there that they do not see that as viable or even realistic options. Kyle? So the path forward financially then for the, for the school, assuming that there's some way that they keep their charter from DPS, they still have that financial path forward they have to find. Right, and so that's what they're working on now, and Bissonette argues that they believe that they have not really had a full normal academic year to really also really show what the school can do at this point. Mm. All right, Luis, thank you.